Hey, Sparky, Sparky, you online .com. Here's a panel that I had removed recently on a remodel job, and we replaced it with an updated electronic, uh, just a lighting control panel, not necessarily a dimmer panel like this one. And I hate throwing stuff away, especially if it's usable. So I decided that I would build uh, somewhat of a little control panel uh, that I can do some explanations of... Uh, uh, coils, contactors, relays, um, motor starters and such. So what I did was I took this and I turned it into this. And in here I'll go through some of the the pieces and parts as we go along here. But um, you know I've got timer, photo cell, lighting, starter, a couple contactors, uh, it's low voltage coil on that one. And I got a little ice cube relay back over in here. Timer, main switch. So here's what I started out with. And uh, this is just the, the control cabinet. But before I got the cabinet up there and mounted, went ahead and laid everything out. Kind of get an idea of uh, what I wanted to do. As you can tell, it's a little bit different from the, the other pictures. But the nice thing about this is I can change things as I go and we can go from uh, one type of contactor to another and uh, the, the possibilities are, are endless at this point I mean uh, short of my money status to buy new components and this is all just laid out again and a lot of this stuff I got I've just collected over you know past several months off of uh, various projects I'm beginning to wire it up here. I was going to go this route with my main power, changed my mind. And that's going to be typical throughout this. So I went ahead and started going off the uh, the low side here. And uh, just start doing some of the wire. I've got uh, a barrier in here between the fans and the light and the contactors and I've got a bunch of uh, plexiglass that I'll be using to, to put up the proper barriers and we have uh, uh, labeling to do yet. I, there's a lot to do this is far from being done but uh, also just wanted to show a couple tools that I use. I've got my strip masters down there. I like those when I'm uh, working control panels a lot better than standard strippers and I've got my uh, ratchet screwdriver which I could also use for uh, threading uh, 632 and 832 holes. This one down here, I've, uh, I use these for my screw cutters and uh, we've got uh, my crimp tool here and just various different things, screw cutter, screwdriver and then I've got all my uh, plates to hold on the um, wire ties and then of course my uh, stereo I gotta be able to listen to tunes while I'm doing this and just another angle showing how I got this wiring going in through here and this one here we have uh, this is just definite purpose contactor this is a Siemens uh, Telemonique and I got my furnace over here and you've seen that one in a previous video a little bit further along in here I'm just rocking and rolling got my tester out starting to do some testing I actually put some uh, applied some power to it at this point and start to testing out all my coils to make sure that uh, they were all working and I kind of got this set up right here so that I could shut certain uh, breakers in this case. Um, I could shut these switches off so that um, can do a little bit of troubleshooting, a little bit of testing, and find out why something may not be working. And that's just a close-up view of an ice cube relay and the definite purpose contactor. And in the next one, I've got uh, a picture of, uh, this is a pressure switch off an air compressor. And you can probably tell right in there that those are pretty burned, 
but they're serving the purpose for for what I want to do and then this is just close up of a, a coil I got uh, different types of connections in here I got some crimp connections uh, spade connections just stripped wire uh, going into back plates so there's all sorts of things that we could take a look at there and we have some overload settings here on that Siemens uh, contactor and overload and the top half of our, uh, our relay there we've got uh, A1 and A2 and for those of you who don't know that is the uh, coil contacts on this particular starter as a matter of fact all uh, the coils pretty much have A1 and A2 uh, I say a lot of them not all of them and here's my uh, control transformer that uh, I got out of an abandoned um, fire alarm panel so that seems to be working out pretty good for my low voltage situations and then just a view of my time clock and uh, here's a limit switch up here I got another picture of that next uh, some of the terminal blocks I've got some old ones got some new ones um, you know you can kind of tell by this picture this is an older uh, porcelain fixture, keyless fixture. There's my temperature switch and it's going to end up controlling various things for various reasons. Most of the time these are put in uh, dimmer control panels like the one that I demoed out to uh, operate the the one fan to help keep it cool. Dissipate the heat I should say. So going back there, this is I just used all the pieces and parts out of this. I totally gutted it, and I've used some of the wiring. I got some newer wiring, and um, I'll go ahead and do a link to the next video um, showing you that uh, that this is actually operational at this point. And um, anyway, uh, it's a work in progress. This isn't done and uh, got a lot of thing, different things that I can do with this and, and do videos on so hopefully uh, my time permitting I'll be able to uh, bring more info to you. You guys have a great day and talk to you later. Sparky, sparkyonline.com. Have a great day.